Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the Tech News Update for Thursday, December the 1st, 2016. And today in our Tech News Update we have uh, Samsung that is warning users that still have the Galaxy Note 7 that they really have to turn it in. It seems that there's about 5% of the Note 7s that have not been returned to Samsung. Samsung is warning that it is a dangerous phone and that in no case you should keep the phone even if you like it. They say that an update is rolling up in Australia to prevent the phone from connecting to Wi-Fi and the cell networks and that they are thinking of doing the same across different countries to make sure that its Note 7 is returned. So if you have a Note 7, they are saying please return it. It is a danger. Satya Nadella got uh, a little bit of problems yesterday as he was talking to the shareholders. Many shareholders were um, really a little mad at Microsoft and its mobile business going down the drain. So basically Satya Nadella had to explain what was the vision of Microsoft in its mobile for 2017 and uh, hopefully maybe it's a positive point and uh, maybe a Surface phone is in the works. Well, we have the smartphone market share uh, or, you know, growth for 2016 pretty much. Um, IDC, which is a uh, consultant firm that actually checks the market share of each device, says that smartphone growth this year is flat, meaning it's really not progressing much. 0.6% uh, growth only compared to last year's almost 35%. So they say that it's a stagnant market and they believe that in 2017 the smartphone market will not really grow much, even maybe uh, for the first time go into the negative. So in the smartphone market, Android is 85% of all smartphones out there and they are up. Where it hurts a little bit is the iPhone. Apple's iPhone has 14.3% of market share but it is down 8% year over year. That means that more Android phones are being sold, less iPhones are being sold, which should concern uh, Apple because it is the number one cash cow of Apple. Windows 10 Insider Program will have some changes coming. Um, since uh, Donna Sarkar took over the Insider Preview team, Donna Sarkar has a uh, very interesting program going on with the uh, Winsiders for Good where uh, she made several trips around the world and trying to help communities uh, to of course have and share uh, not only technology but also help the poor and the homeless. Now they want to do something new in 2017. They want to do some Windows 10 Insiders that will create groups in local communities to help in different ways. Uh, the poor people and the homeless in every community and they would make like local groups where people could actually attend and uh, be helpful. So this is not a bad idea actually having the community help and uh, that should be coming in 2017 apparently. Well it seems that Nokia brand is about to return in the limelight of smartphones after being bought by Microsoft and basically making Lumia phones and not really having the Nokia brand. Uh, Nokia is set to release two new smartphones in 2017 as Nokia brand and they will be Android phones. So it's going to be interesting to see how they are and how they compare and if they can really get any market share in that sea of Android phones. Well, if you are a user of Firefox, I told you yesterday there's a zero-day flaw that actually makes your browsing a little uh, dangerous. Well, update your Firefox browser. Firefox has released today the fix for the zero-day flaw. And so uh, just fire up your Firefox browser and check for updates today. And by the way, this update... Uh, and this fix is not just for Windows. It seems that that zero-day flaw affects also Linux and Mac users. So everybody should update their browser. 
we have the numbers that are in for the market share of browsers for the month of November. So IDC, of course, every uh, first of the month gives market share for the different browsers used by um, all the uh, internet users. And basically the browser market for November is Chrome at 55.8%, 55.8%, plus 0.8%, a slight increase, but it is really the dominant web browser right now, Google Chrome. There's Internet Explorer and Edge together at 26.9% in the second spot. It is minus 1.5%, so it's uh, actually still shrinking. It seems that people are not uh, using Internet Explorer and Edge as much, and they are leaving the boat. And finally, Firefox up 0.8% at 11.9%, which is interesting because Firefox was for so many uh, months and actually a couple of years really uh, going down, down, down. So it's interesting to see that in the past couple of months, they started to grow back again. So that's interesting. And one interesting little uh, fact here is that on Macs, Safari is not very popular. It seems that on Mac computers, users are using Google Chrome or Firefox and are not really using Safari as their main browser. So that's interesting to see. So this was the Tech News Update for Thursday, December 1st, 2016. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up. I hope you enjoy our videos.